This is your evening KRQE.com webcast. Mark Ronchetti starts off with the weather. Diane, in the short term, things look very good. Mostly sunny skies tomorrow, warm temperatures as well. Wind's not a huge factor. 10 to 15 miles an hour across the east side of the state. Very manageable. And we'll keep those mild temperatures going into at least Saturday, where we could hit 80 here in the metro area. But then the winds start to increase late in the day on Saturday and into Sunday. A storm system closes in. Now, track is going to be key on this thing. If it slides down into the northern portion of the state, that will actually mean less. Wind across New Mexico and the chance at a shower or two. If it goes a little too far to the north, we're going to get a lot of wind and no showers. More details on the track as we get closer. A Bernalillo County grand jury has ruled that a controversial officer involved shooting was justified. Albuquerque police officer Brandon Carr fatally shot burglary suspect Roderick Jones in 2009. Carr says he told Jones to surrender, but he didn't, and instead reached for a weapon. That's when Carr shot Jones, but Jones never had a weapon, and Carr was fired for violating police policy. Jones' family sued APD and won more than a million dollars. The suit said Carr claimed the shooting happened inside the home, but an internal investigation showed Carr lied, and the officer shot Jones in the back outside the home as he was trying to get away. But after reviewing all the evidence presented, the grand jury decided there was not enough evidence to indict. The embattled Sunland Park mayor-elect will get his case heard by the state's highest court. Daniel Salinas is accused of threatening to release a video of another mayor candidate getting a lap dance to try to get that candidate out of the race. Despite embezzlement charges against him, Salinas won the election. But he can't take office because a city clerk must administer the oath and under his conditions of release, Salinas can't set foot in City Hall. He has asked the state Supreme Court to change that. A hearing is now set for April 3rd. Salinas has to be sworn in by April 5th, or his seat will be declared vacant. Join us for more news tonight on KRQE News 13 at 10.